Hey YouTube. So it's a uh, weeknight and my wife and my daughter are uh, at a friend's house so it's uh, what time is it? 8.30 at night so I gotta I'll go to bed about 9 so I got about half an hour that I can take advantage since my daughter's not here to work on the dash and one of the things I want to do if you look down it it's not straight so I'm going to put it in the press and try to get most of the bends out. It won't ever be perfect, but, um, and, but I'm kind of afraid of getting it all straight because now once it's all straight, the bolt holes probably won't line up, but such is life. Um, so I'm going to press it, get it straight, and wire wheel it, and get all the loose paint off and fake wood trim off so, so that I can, uh, paint it on Saturday morning while everyone's still asleep because I'll tell you what if I fired the grinder up and started grinding this down this close to the house on a Saturday morning when the baby's asleep I I would be dead my wife would kill me so take advantage of the time while I got it and uh, I'll keep you guys updated gosh one of the things I keep telling myself I'm gonna invest in is a air over hydraulic bottle jack for this sucker because 20 minutes later I'm getting close alright got it all wire wheeled straightened out to the best of my abilities there still a couple little kinks in it but probably definitely good enough and uh, got the primer over there so I'm going to go hang this up and just primer them tonight, or just primer this tonight, I th and I think I'll just blow this off, primer this. This is just going to be a tray that sets up a, some of my other videos you might have seen it. It sets up about right here on the dash, a little out of the way. To, I want to keep it to, uh, someone added this, I don't even know what it is, an old file or something. But because you can set your phone on the tray, plug in the plug it into the cigarette lighter there and charge your phone. So I think that'll be handy. And uh, got some other stuff taken off of it as well. The fan that works, but it's all worn out. It won't stay in one spot, so I'll put it back in there, mock it up where I want it, and put a bead all the way around it. Clean this up, paint this, and my homemade cup holder it works very well. So I will also clean that up and fix that. So these will probably be Saturday morning while everyone's asleep, and uh, yeah, get this uh, primered tonight so that Saturday I can put a coat of paint on it. All right, I got the um, dash all primered. I kind of was thinking I should have bought that Rust-Oleum, that hammered finish to hide all the pitting from the rust, but I didn't. I just bought regular high gloss black. And it's a different day, by the way. Um, I got the fan welded, and this is the cup holder that's a homemade cup holder, but I kind of wire wheeled the chrome, and it's got some blemishes, but I think I'm going to mask off the chrome and paint it black. And then that was, um, if you look in there, you might not be able to see, but it's got a tab in there, dumb, and uh, this I think was like an old, for a bearing. A retaining nut or something, but I put a wa I welded a washer. I welded a washer onto the bottom here to uh, make it to where I could put like a regular soda can in here. Um, I'm gonna let that cool down. It's still pretty hot, and it's thin. It's, the sheet metal is not, but it's very hot at the end there. So let it cool down, and then I'll primer. Prime of those, and hopefully this evening get get them painted black. 
I got the dash all painted black. I definitely wish I went with the hammered finish just because it's, you can see the, you know, gloss brings out all the flaws. But it looks good. Um, happy with it. I went to the beach for the 4th of July with my wife. And at a garage sale, I picked up, you know, these cheap little gauge clusters. You always see them on, like, old, you know, 70s Chevy and 70, you know, 70s Fords. People put them on because they got a water temp that's all manual. And usually they have an amp meter here and then an oil pressure. Well, I picked this up for a couple dollars because the log loader had an amp meter gauge. It works. There's nothing wrong with it except for it's a little dirty. Um... But I didn't want an amp meter gauge, I wanted a voltmeter gauge. This one had a voltmeter gauge, which all the other gauges on the dash are have been replaced, except for I believe this amp meter to be original. Because it's got the chrome face, just like this broken um, RP the tachometer. But all the other ones have been replaced at some point with black. And this was black gauge. So I thought, cool, voltmeter. So I'll be putting a voltmeter on there, and uh, here's the oil pressure gauge for it. So, um, then I got a, this is a thread on, it's kind of rusty in there, but it, it comes out. Um, a cigarette lighter, which I won't really use the cigarette lighter because I don't smoke, but um, it'd be nice to charge my phone, which speaking of that, so I got the dash painted. And I got all the extra little stuff over here hanging, drying, that are all painted. Just drying right now. The fan's painted. The tray is painted. And the, oh, geez, fell right off. Um, and the, uh, um, the, uh, well, I'm gonna draw a brain front on that freaking drink cup holders painted so and it's just got masking tape around it so it's, it's gonna be chrome on the outside which I think will look nice so I'm excited the fan looks good um, you know sometimes just a little bit of paint just makes things look so much nicer than rust anyhow even though it's still not as nice as new but I'm not trying to restore the thing and just Want it to look nice and be able to move some logs. So then I got a, you know, a bunch of switches. I got all the switches out. This is the windshield wiper and, and some momentary push buttons. Not sure what what I'm gonna do with them yet. Um, gonna try to. I got a bunch of these switches that came with the log loader. Um, all the switches that were on the dash were all different, but. I had rescued a bunch of the switches that I off the log that I've been taking off and they all have the same style handle. So I'm gonna try to make test them with do a continuity test and make sure all of them work. I think a couple of them don't work. I gotta figure out which ones they were. They for all I remember they could be these dirty ones. But anyways, I'm gonna try to make all the switches the same on the dash so everything looks good. So, that's that. Like I said, I think I'll have one momentary. It will just be the to shut it down, the, to run the shutdown solenoid, which is this one that goes on top of the governor. And then what I might buy is this had two. One was the starter button. One would be the shutdown solenoid. Well, I don't want a starter button because this ignition switch obviously has a start on it, and I believe that it's still good because it works in the accessory mode and everything. If not, it's no problem. I have an extra starter switch. So I don't want a start button because I can just start at the key. I have a shutdown button. I think the other one will be the emergency shutdown, which runs... Oh, who knows where it's at now. The other, oh, it's priced on the log letter. The other solenoid that trips the air to the blower, 
in that case, I'll probably, I don't want to have, that way you don't get confused which one's which, I'll probably get one with the lever, that you, the cover that you flip, and then you push the button so you don't accidentally bump it and then have to get out and reset the, you know, trip the blower thing and everything. So that way it's not in the way, but that's my plan. Anyways, I think, you know, some of these switches are just on. Like this one's only a, you know, single pole or whatever you want to call it. And then these ones are the double, you know. So go through all of them and figure out which switches are which. But like these switches all work. They're fine. It just they don't match. And uh, that one's been arced, arced in something. It's got a big old crater in it. Anyways, but uh, I can use these for something else, different project, but all I want all the switches on the dash to look the same, so. Anyways, that's, uh, oh, and then here's the um, bracket for the uh, fuse box and relays, all painted, done, so. It's getting there, coming along. Hey, YouTube. Well, now that I got um, it all painted, and my wife's cooking dinner and the baby's sleeping. I'm gonna attempt to start putting these gauges on and uh, get the throttle linkage in and start finding some switches that work and getting the dash all put together so I can just set it into place. Well, I uh, gotta go through and fix this switch. This one was completely burned out. It's should be longer, like, uh, so you can see the difference here. See the difference? So I'm gonna put these two switches together, make one good one. My daughter's here, oh, you about ready to cry, huh? Oh. Anyways, my wife is uh, in Seattle with her girlfriends for the weekend, so Addie and I are in the shop. And originally those Momentaries went here. I ordered some on Amazon a black one for the start and a red one for the stop And then that other one the silver one's gonna go here, and that'll be the Emergency shutdown that trips the air at the blower so That's what I'm doing I actually went to go to ace to buy oh That's enough. I'll keep you busy um to go buy new switches, and they closed down, and Lowe's, I hate them with a fiery passion of a thousand suns. So, I just as soon fix my own switch, order the rest on Amazon, because I am not a fan of Lowe's. But, uh, anyways, that's just the one more thing to add to the mix that I gotta do is fix a switch. All right, well, hopefully this is the last of the fabricating and cleaning up, and now I can Start actually wiring this old girl. I got the homemade fuse panel in there mounted behind, kind of off to the side of the seat goes, so you can still get to it. These are the wires for all the switches for the outriggers. I'll mess with those later. I got the cover off right now, being painted. Sorry for the glare. Gosh, that's annoying. Um, Dash is in. I actually broke the switch here. Getting this in, it dropped onto the pedal and broke the switch on the underside. So I got an extra one that's a three or a two position. All right, I mean it's called three position, but you know, on, off, on. These were all just on and offs. So I'll probably put a one here with the on, off, on, because that's all I got. But uh, move some things around. Originally the uh, windshield wipers was on was over here above the switch but um, that is now the emergency stop for the blower this uh, ignition switch that I put in the other one was actually burned out in position so this one's just on or off so ordered the switch on Amazon for the uh, start and stop when we black and over red got the little tray in here painted and installed um, Cup holder painted and installed. It's black, just the side to silver. And oh, you can see because of glare, but the fan's up there in the corner. So it's coming along. 
but uh, that's all the progress I'm going to get for a little while um, until I start wiring on it. So getting the wiring all in it. But oh, and I've got the CB in there now, not wired up, just just mounted. So I'm gonna either put the uh, get one that clips on here onto the side, or I'll right where these already has some bracket at one time right there maybe just out of the way so now check there but there you go that's uh about as far as I'm gonna get on it for a while with the exception of here and there with the wiring and uh think about possibly re reupholstering the seat we'll see depends on how ambitious I feel Talk to you guys later and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and be safe, have fun.